Welcome to the Love Encounter. Thank you so much for connecting with us today. I'm so happy for you. Those of you that are watching and those of you that are listening, may God bless you. We've had exciting teachings in the uh, past few days. We thank God because we are still continuing with our teaching, the perfect work of God. And today, we are going to look at uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 15 to verse 17. The Bible says we are joint heirs with Christ. We are now sons and daughters in the family of God. We have joined the royal family. We are adopted. We are joining the royal family. Romans 8, verse uh, 15 to verse 17 says... For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Now, we are members of God's family. We have joined the royal family. We are co-heirs with Christ. We have been reconciled back to the family of God. We are no longer part of the family of the devil, the family of failures, the family of sickness, the family of disease, we are no longer part of that family. We are now part of the family of God. We are co-heirs with Christ. We have joined the royal family. We share the title deeds. We share the title deeds to all the Father's wealth that title deeds to all the Father's wealth. That is who we have become. We are members of God's family. Now, an heir is one who receives an inheritance by right of birth. An heir is one who receives an inheritance by right of birth. An heir is a rightful possessor. So you and I are now possessors of the heavens. We possess the heavens. We possess the earth, the universe. We possess it rightfully. This is who we have become. We rightfully possess the heavens. We rightfully possess the universe, the earth. The whole world. We possess this rightfully because we are now co heirs with Christ Jesus. Whatever the Father owns, the Son owns. Whatever His Son Jesus Christ owns, we own. We have a share. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter, three, chapter 1, sorry, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Praise God. The Message Bible says, He is the Father of our Master, Jesus Christ, and takes us to the high places of blessing in him. Now because we have joined the royal family. We have inherited. We are co-heirs with Christ. We have been lifted. We have been lifted and taken. To the high places of blessing in him. This is where we are. Spiritually this is where we are. We have been lifted to high places of blessing. High places of blessing. That is where you are. 
child of God, you are lifted to high places of blessing. Now you realize that everything connected to us in Christ must possess a mark of prosperity, success, healing, surplus, perfect peace, and perfect health. Must possess a mark of surplus, perfect peace, prosperity, perfect health, nothing missing and nothing broken. We are lifted to high places of blessing. Hallelujah. We have been lifted to high places of blessing because we have become co-heirs with Christ. We possess the title deeds to everything that belongs to the Father. Praise God. Now, when you study Romans chapter 1, verse 16, this verse says so much about us who are in Christ Jesus. It says a lot about us who are in Christ Jesus. The Bible says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. The gospel of Christ is the good news of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. I am not ashamed of the good news because it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. What is the good news? The good news is found in Romans chapter 8 verse 1. That is the good news. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now, child of God, one of the things that hinder children of God from accessing high places of blessing, from accessing their rightful position in Christ, is condemnation. They feel condemned. They feel unworthy. So many people think, oh, they believe God can bless. They believe God can heal. They believe God is a good God, but they feel condemned. They feel unworthy of the blessing. So when I talk about you being lifted to high places of blessing, one will say to me, you don't know what I have done. You don't know my life. I don't deserve to even step to, to close to where Christ is. But yet the Bible is so clear that we have become co-heirs. We have become co-heirs. We have become rightful possessors. We possess everything God owns. So one of the hindrances and the common hindrances or the common things that will stop the people of God from accessing high places of blessing is condemnation. Who condemns? Is the devil condemns. The devil condemns. The devil condemns. The devil brings up everything. He reminds you everything that you have done in the past and he convinces you that you are unworthy. You cannot, you cannot come close. You can't enter the presence of God. They believe God heals. They believe God blesses. They believe God loves people. But they are condemned. They feel condemned. So the Bible has said, there is therefore now, now, no condemnation to them which are in Christ. If you are in Christ, if you are in Christ, if you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are not condemned. Do not feel condemned. Don't accept anything 
that condemns you. Whatever you hear, whatever you read, whatever you see, and does not reflect the love of God for you, and the forgiveness, and the love the Father has for you, don't listen to it. That does not come from God. The Bible is so clear. The Bible has said, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ. You are not condemned. Therefore you qualify to step up. You have been lifted to high places of blessing. So that is the good news. We see more good news in First John chapter 2 verse 1. Let us go to verse 2. Let's read verse 2. And he is the propitiation for our sins. And not ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. He has atoned. He has atoned. He has become the propitiation for our sins. And not ours only but also for the sins of the whole world. He has covered them. That is good news. Titus 2.11 has good news. Now this is the good news. Do not be ashamed of this good news because it is the power of God. Good news is the power of God. Titus 2.11 says, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. All men. God does not discriminate. All men have received this grace that brings salvation. Praise God. Follow me. I'm taking you somewhere. This grace, by the way, grace is Christ Jesus. Grace is a person. Grace is more than a subject. Grace is more than a topic. Grace is a person. Titus 2.11 says, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. All men. All men. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Salvation. This grace has brought salvation to all men. To all men. Now, let us look at the meaning of salvation. Let us understand the meaning of salvation in the New Testament. The meaning of salvation in the New Testament. The word salvation in the New Testament is the Greek word soteria, which means Deliverance, preservation, welfare, safety, soundiness, restoration, prosperity, perfect peace, and healing. So now the gospel of Christ, the gospel of Christ, the good news of Christ, is the power, the gospel of Christ, which is the good news of Jesus Christ, is the power unto deliverance, preservation, welfare, safety, soundiness, restoration, prosperity, perfect peace, healing. This is the good news. Now you realize that transformation because if you receive all if you have received all these things which is the comprehensive blessing of Christ the gospel is the comprehensive blessing of Christ including all these things that I have list listed if you have received them you have received transformation transformation does not come from bad news that some men preach. Transformation doesn't come from bad news. The bad news that some people preach. Transformation comes from good news. 
Good news brings transformation. Perfect health is transformation. Safety is transformation. And these things don't come from bad news. They come from good news. The message of Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. That is good news. That is good news. Power to salvation. Hallelujah. When good news is preached, it brings power to salvation. Power to healing. Power to deliverance. Power to safety. Power to perfect peace. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. A new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. All things are of God. All things are of God. Things are no longer of the devil. Things are no longer of pain and sickness. Your story has changed. Your story has changed. Your song has changed. Your level has changed. Because you have been lifted to high places of blessing, all things are of God. Who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. We have become co-heirs with Christ. Now we are in the family of God. We have been reconciled to the family of God. And has given us the ministry of recon reconciliation. Even the ministry has changed. The ministry of reconciliation. Everything is changing. Everything has changed. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if you are united, if you have become a co-heir with Christ, you become a new creation, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. This is the good news of Jesus Christ. Now, when you go to verse 21, the Bible says, for he has made him to be seen for us. Now, he has made him to be seen for us. This is good news. The power to salvation. Praise God. This is good news to the power of salvation. Now, bad news does not lead men to salvation. Bad news doesn't lead men to safety. Bad news doesn't lead men to perfect health. Bad news doesn't lead men to healing. Bad news doesn't lead men to prosperity. It is good news that leads men to perfect peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken. And this is the good news of Jesus Christ. For he has made him to be seen for us. Who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. You see, you've been lifted to high places of blessing. Now, all the blessing of a righteous man, all the blessings of a righteous man are yours. Praise God. You are lifted to high places. You are lifted to high places of blessing. The high places of blessing. Praise God. Now, all the blessings of a righteous man belongs to you. Praise God. You possess rightfully all the blessings of a righteous man. There is no curse upon you. There's no weapon can be forged against you and prosper. Why? Because you've been lifted. You now have a high life. You live a high life. You have been taken to high life. Praise God. Hallelujah. For he has made him to be seen for us. Who knew no sin? That is good news. Leading you to salvation. Taking you to salvation. To the power of salvation. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. You possess that place rightfully. You possess rightfully. You are now part of a royal family. Lifted. You have inherited a fortune. Woo! Praise God. You have inherited a fortune. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9. I want to close with this. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich. Yet for your sakes he became poor. That you through his poverty might become rich. So this is the good news that brings the power of salvation to work in a man's life. This is the gospel, the good news that causes the power of salvation, the power of a comprehensive blessing to work in your life. It causes tremendous power to work in your life. The power of salvation. He became poor. That is good news. In order for you to become rich. That is good news. Good news brings transformation. It causes the power of salvation to come in a person's life. I want you to join me right now. And let us believe in the power of salvation. Let us believe in the good news. And we're going to agree together that transformation is coming in your life. Transformation is coming in your finances. Transformation is coming at your place of work. Transformation is coming into your marriage. Why? Because of this good news that causes the power of salvation to work. Child of God, if you are born again, if you have received Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have received a comprehensive blessing. You have received a comprehensive blessing. Receive this word. Accept it. Own it. Let it be yours. You are born again. If you are born again, you have received salvation. And this is salvation, safety, healing, prosperity, perfect peace, soundiness, a sound mind. You can't fail. You're a child of God. You can't fail. You cannot fail. You possess this. You possess this blessing. You've been lifted to high places of blessing. Let us agree together. Let us agree together today. Let us agree for your life. I believe God than ever before. I believe God than ever before for your life. Raise your hands where you are. Let us pray. We agree. Thank you, Father, for what you have given us. We have been translated from darkness to light. We have been translated from darkness to light. We have been reconciled Back to the family of our father. We have joined the royal family. We are co-heirs with Christ. We have inherited a fortune. We agree right now. And we speak transformation in every area. Of our lives. Why? Because we have received the gospel. The power unto salvation. The power unto perfect peace. The power unto healing. The power unto salvation. The power unto prosperity. The power unto sound mind. This is our salvation. This is our comprehensive blessing. You receive it child of God. In the name of Jesus, I bless you with the power of the gospel unto salvation. You cannot be the same again. Whatever died is coming back to life. Everyone that is sick, you receive your healing right now. In the name of Jesus, your marriage is settled. Peace in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. People are getting healed right now. People are being set free from infirmity. Peace, peace.
peace into your finances, peace, peace into your marriage, perfect peace, nothing missing and nothing broken. Amen. I cannot close this broadcast before I invite you to pray a prayer with me to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you have never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm going to give you this opportunity to accept him because the things I'm teaching, the things I'm saying can only be experienced if you have accepted Christ and your Lord and Savior. Let us pray together. Say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I, I believe with my heart. I, ask, I, I, I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for paying the price. I now believe you and receive you in my heart and I begin to walk in the finished work of the cross. Amen. You're now born again. You have received Christ as your Lord and Savior. Nothing missing, nothing broken in your life. We are here. We want to continue praying with you. There are numbers on your screen. CCI helpline is a Swedish number. And CCK helpline. If you are in Africa, you can call us or you can send us a text message. If you are in Europe, you can send us a text message. Those numbers are on WhatsApp. It's easy to get to us. We want to pray with you. Uh, send us your prayer requests. Give us some testimonies. I know that people are getting healed right now. Send us some testimonies if you're healed. We want to praise God with you. If you have any need, a spiritual need, you want us to stand with you, pray with you, help you, connect with us using those numbers. We'll be so happy to hear from you. I cannot wait to hear from you. Stay in the word. Nothing missing, nothing broken. God bless you so much. Thank you for watching this broadcast and see you tomorrow right here at Love Encounter. God bless you.